Hello everyone. So the next read we're going to be doing is going to be an all placement read. It is specifically going to be for Aries. Okay. So this is going to be resonating possibly if you're a divine masculine as well for the emperors. All right. Um, but it may or may not resonate with you with it being a general read. So keep that in mind. Also keep in mind that this is past, present, or future energy. I don't do this all the time. So this could be someone new that is going to be listening in this is who this may be for all right so the first card we got coming off from the cosmic deck is honeymoon all right so you could be going on a honeymoon soon or you could be attending a wedding where you have to take a plane all right you may have to fly to a wedding it may be overseas or it may be on an island all right someone may be expecting or may not be expecting um possibly if they are expecting they could end up having a miscarriage and for others someone may not be pregnant at this time but they may have just gotten married or will be getting married really soon spirit what messages do you have for aries all right there's something about someone's health all right to the rise hasn't come out yet um someone could end up losing a baby while intimate all right could be an air sign, all right, um, water sign, all right, there's a water sign who, who is not pregnant, who could end up attending a wedding, or who could be going on a honeymoon, um, they may not be pregnant, and for some, they could be pregnant, end up having a miscarriage, but I'm heavily getting that they're not pregnant, all right, and they are a, um, this could be a divine mas uh, masculine, um, divine feminine, all right, could be a Pisces, don't have to be. Could also be a Scorpio or a Cancer. Spirit, what other messages do you want for us to know for Aries? All right, Mercury retrograde, all right? So someone could be communicating with you soon or someone could be having problems communicating with you if they're trying to text you or call you it could be a hard time getting through all right someone um, may need to review everything someone could be contacting you um during a mercury retrograde or someone from your past could be trying to come back to you all right it says caution all right it says find out more information don't overwork yourself so um for those of you, when it comes to work, you could be um, overexerting yourself, working really hard, all right? And for others of you, um, you could, so whoever this is that's coming back in your life, you could need to um, take precaution because this could be someone who, um, you know, you need to find more out about, all right? It could be some challenges getting ready to take place or um, something challenging could be happening when it comes to intimacy that could arise. That could be where or if someone is pregnant, they end up losing a baby, like during a honeymoon. If someone is going on a honeymoon that is pregnant, all right, they could end up losing a baby because someone one could get a little bit too rough during sex all right get overly excited all right and um it could have been a while all right someone could have been holding themselves back since they got this person pregnant and then this person could have decided they were abstaining from sex until they get married and for others this won't be the case it could just be that someone hasn't been intimate and they can be having challenges right now like someone can have blue balls or could be really backed up because they have been celibate but they could be really very much so um thinking about someone sexually a water sign all right aries you could be or one is thinking about you in the sex the last time you were with them it could be challenging not seeing them all right someone could be going through inner healing and so they're not able to see someone that they really uh, miss this could be someone who gambles they may need to open up their heart someone could have health issues in this situation all right but that could be coming in with this um, baby. This is someone who's not in communication, but it's saying that they'll be back, all right? Something about an air sign in reverse or an earth sign. Somebody is moving, all right? Someone could be having challenges or facing challenges right now. They may not have anywhere where to live, all right? Change of residence, moving in with your partner. Yeah, someone may, you may be moving in or someone may be needing to move in with you, all right? 
that is what I'm getting for you, Aries. So if this person ends up moving in with you, that could be a honeymoon stage where someone ends up moving in with you from your past. And, you know, you may not be pregnant. You can need to be careful because you could end up pregnant, all right, um, by someone. If you guys end up moving together, this could be someone who you haven't been able to speak with. They could be having a hard time getting in touch with you or speaking to you, getting you on the phone. All right. This could be someone who's having a hard time talking to you because they're trying to ask you if they can move in with you. This could be someone you're also cautious of when it comes to um, talking to them because you could feel like they're only trying to be... Um, close to you in order for them to be intimate with you you're not sure if you even want to you know be intimate with this person this could also be someone you bring balance to when you guys are intimate you can heal someone i'm seeing the world card come out here there's a completion here all right someone could be um, very hurt by this though Someone can be hurting themselves by working a job that is very um, strenuous for them. This could be a Sagittarius, all right? They could be bored with the work that they're doing or bored um, with someone or distracted by someone. Could be a star, all right? Spirit wanted all these cards to be in the upright because I shuffled them and everything and they all still came out in the upright. And I shuffled them different ways. So just whatever message comes out is what Spirit wants for you to know. All right, so we got the Sagittarius, we got an Aquarius, we got the world here. All right, there's a completion, a cycle ended. Someone is very hurt. All right, this could have been someone who someone was trying to make things balanced out with all right and they could have been distracting themselves all right or someone could have been distracting themselves um will work all right um to you know not deal with someone or something that was really causing them a lot of pain someone could have been heartbroken and so they submerged themselves into a lot of work as well to balance themselves out they could have been bored with an aquarius or someone who um they saw as a star or someone who's a star all right And I'm seeing that someone tried to distract themselves with work um, because of an ending that took place or a cycle that closed. Could have been with a water sign. All right. Um, we got the Knight of Pentacles. All right. So someone's finances after an ending, someone may have started to work on their finances, getting their money together. It could be between the ages of 20 and 35. Don't have to be. Could be a younger energy. Could act this age, though. Ten of Swords. Could clarify your spirit. What do you want for us to know? And Nine of Pentacles want to come out so bad. All right. Something has been illuminated, all right? Some, the, the fact that someone is hurt and they're trying not to show it has been revealed to you about someone, all right, that they're putting up a front. Spirit, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. All right, we got the Seven of Swords. Someone is um, being deceitful or someone is, you know, um, feeling like... <laughs> They can deceive themselves um, and overlook this completion or this ending to something that has came into their path by submerging themselves into work, but they still are thinking about this inference, all right? They're thinking about someone they really care about. Yeah, the emperor is. Yeah, he's thinking about his divine um, feminine. Yeah, he wants to move forward with her, all right? He want to go towards her. He want to go see her, all right, as well. It's hurting him not to be able to. It's feeling like he's been left out in the cold. It's feeling like, you know, <laughs> she just don't give a damn about him, all right? And it's really hurting him, stabbing him. It's painful. Spirit, clarify the temperance. All right, the Nine of Cups. All right, someone has a lot of love. Who does someone has a lot of love for, Spirit? Who does temperance have a lot of love for?
what is this paper trying to all right i'm seeing the emperor is going to come out all right the king of pentacles all right got a lot of love for his money <laughs> The Sagittarius, all right, got a lot of love for their money. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo could be significant, all right? They could work real hard all the time, all right? When it comes to new opportunities, they take them, all right? Spirit, um, clarify the Four of Cups. Well, somebody could be a breadwinner. Somebody could love to focus on money. They're not focused on, if they're not in a relationship with you, they're focused on their money. If you're thinking that they be concerned with other women, other um, guys, they're not. They're focused on work. Four of Cups, Spirit, clarify it. Somebody may talk a lot about their money. All right, the Four of Cups. Someone may be trying to distract themselves with work or right and as many opportunities as they can get because they may be feeling like they missed the opportunity or that they um, are not, you know, fulfilled at this time. They could be bored without the imprints, all right? They don't like they're left out in the cold. They don't have anything else left to do. This could be someone who could have left them out in the cold or they feel like you did because you're focusing on your work. You could be a public figure and they're feeling like, you know, you're focused on that. Meanwhile, they want to communicate to you how they care, care about you, all right? They see you as a masterpiece or whatever it is that you're doing. They see it as that. Spirit, clarify the star. Spirit, clarify the star to close this out. What is the last message you have for us? All right, yeah. This is someone someone has a family with, all right? Or someone wants to have a family with you, all right? They, they see themselves having a family with you. Higher fun, all right? gonna cause a tower in a lot of people's lives all right someone's reviewed this they thought about this this is what they want to do all right someone may know about this and this is causing them a heartbreak as well all right someone may be holding on to the devil all right or someone could consistently be getting themselves set up all right hurting themselves by trying to start something consistently over and over again with the devil all right, someone they may have a family with, all right, someone who could be an Aquarius, all right, and for others of you, someone sees you as an as a star, all right, and um, others, um, someone is leaving their um, child's mother out in the cold, all right, to come to start a, um, a relationship with you, all right. Someone could be bored with their, mo um, their mother or their kid's mother or mother figure, all right? Someone they're involved with, they could be leaving them out in the cold, all right, to go towards an influencer. Or you could be an influencer as well. They could have left you out in the cold for some of you as well, all right? But that is what I have for you, Aries. I'm just going to take some numerology to close this out. Hopefully this resonated with you because it was definitely all over the place. All right, so we got 1111. All right, there's some powerful manifestations coming into play here. All right, this is definitely divinely meant to happen. We got Leo and we got Taurus. Scorpio, Scorpio. Definitely a major ending, but that is what I have, guys. Please do thumbs up the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later. Bye.